we're an American theater that produces and focuses on Latino artists. The, the voices that we've presented at NTAR are very varied. It's, I don't think that you can speak of this type of play other than um, the playwrights happen to be Latino. There are a few things that seem to be a common denominator in what I would call Latino theater. Uh, tremendous romanticism about sexuality, about living, about living large and living passionately. There's um, a freedom of language. A lot of the Latino writers I most respect are poets in their own way. There's also a mixture of reality and unreality. You know, there's a kind of a fuzzy membrane that separates the two, and Latino writers love to poke their fingers through that membrane. The first play that I did in New York was at Intar, and then uh, I worked here at the New Works Festival like, a year later. So I got my start here in a lot of ways. The adventure that pretty much every single Latino theater artist has worked or passed by Inter at some point or another. Yeah. And a lot of us just stayed. <laughs> I was in high school theater and I read a lot of plays and I started to be drawn to Latin, Latino voices and a lot of the writers who were coming up like in the 90s when I was a student were fostered here. There's not enough work for Latino actors out there. There are not enough venues doing Latino plays. And so, you know, this, this theater feels more like a playground, you know, and, and a way to sort of not have to worry about the limitations that the rest of the theater imposes on you. I try to approach each playwright with, what do you want to do, not what do you have for me? It's a much more friendly hand. People come here with you know, open hearts and open minds, w wanting an experience. The people who come here are already primed for an adventure. 